Hello, it's Lou Collins. Today on Craft World, I have a technique for you that you can use. You've probably got a lot of these tools already sitting in your stash, and it's just something to kind of extend the use of them. So we're talking about embossing with a die. Um, you may have seen this before, but it's very much achieving like an embossing folder look, but just using a die and a rubber mat. If you don't have a rubber mat, these often come in with your machines. When you purchase them, they're usually in the box along with all the plates. And they're the kind of thing we often just sort of keep in the box or chuck to the side and don't always use straight away. Um, but if you don't have a rubber mat, a piece of foam will also work. Um, or you could try lots of layers of copy paper to get um, a, a, a lighter effect of this technique. Uh, but definitely if you've got a rubber mat, that's the best way to go. So what we're going to do is take a die that has a good amount of detail. Uh, so I'm, it's actually the perfect chance for me to show you my Magnolia Half Tone Stampin' Die Set, which has just launched uh, yesterday on Friday, the 3rd of February. Um, this has a lot of detail and it's a gorgeous Magnolia spray, but it's also lots of outlines. So I'm going to be using this die. Now it's a large die. Uh, that doesn't mean I have to make my card large though, so I'm just going to do a section of this. So I'm actually going to emboss it, it doesn't matter which way I go, I'm going to emboss it from the reverse. And I'm going to just tape this down, but I'm going to be very careful about taping it down because uh, I know this particular card stock uh, does have a little bit of an issue with, uh, if you put tape on it, it can uh, peel off the colour as you remove it. So I'm just being very careful about folding my tape over the back. Now, um, as you can see, I've overlapped the edges. That's absolutely fine. Now I've chosen this cardstock because it has, I don't, you can't probably quite see that, but it's actually got a white core. So if you look at the edge of your cardstock, if you see solid color throughout, you can still do this technique, of course, but you won't be able to do the next stage, which is sanding it back to the white. Um, if you have a look at this and you've got a different color card through the center, so the uh, ink, the color is just printed on the surface, this works really well like that. So I'm going to now put this into my die cutting machine. Now you've got a couple of options. You can, because every sandwich, every plate combination with every machine is slightly different, um, you might need to play around with your settings. So I'm just going to pop the mat, the rubber mat in here, and I'm going to remove the thin plate first of all, the thinnest of all. Now that's the one you'd usually remove if you were putting an embossing folder through. So I'm going to try that first. If I find that there's not quite enough pressure, I could pop that back in and try again, or you could try shimming with some paper. So as I go through, it doesn't matter whether you go um, with your die facing upwards or downwards, you just need to make sure, and I'll go through a couple of times here, just make sure that your die is against the paper and then the rubber mat is on the other side of the paper. So just double check that sandwich for you. So you've got your die onto the card stock with the blade facing down into the rubber. Now, if I just turn this over, you can see we've got that beautiful design. I'm going to leave my die in place. This is why I taped it down. I'm just going to carefully remove some bits of this tape. Very carefully, as I said about the, the I know the ink can come off of this cardstock a little bit if you're a bit harsh with it so gently peel that off now I'm going to take a uh, very expensive crafty tool and that's general sandpaper so I just use this all the time uh, it's so much less expensive than buying um, particular craft sanding tools and I'm going to just brush over the surface now apologies if you're not keen on the sound here um, my daughter absolutely hates the sound of anything being filed or sanded. So if you're the same, I apologise. What I'm going to do is drop the volume here while I go over this and reveal the white core from inside. There we go. So I've sanded that back. It takes a little while uh, because you want to go gently. You don't want to be too harsh with the sanding. And as you can see, your the colour, the, the paint, the ink from the paper will come off onto your sandpaper, so I don't usually tend to reuse sandpaper. If I just now remove that, now on this side we've got a lovely emboss. If you want something very, very subtle, you can use that. It's almost as if it's quilted there. It's absolutely beautiful. And then if you want the, uh, the design to really pop in the background, you've got the sanded side there. So there's actually two techniques really that you can do 
by using your die with an embossing mat. So I'd love to see if you uh, try out your dies with embossing uh, over in, on Craft World in the Inspiration Gallery. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Have a lovely weekend.